I'm the same with this one, even if it is ugly as sin. Hello homebrewers, welcome. Hope you're having a fantastic one. So it is the bottling video of the Five Apple White Cider that we started just over a week ago. So, um... Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to bottle it up and have a little taste because uh, I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. Because I picked five apples thinking, yeah, that should be enough. But I didn't know. It was a guess. So uh, let's have a look. Ah! <laughs> so it doesn't look all that great. If I'm being honest, looks nil point. But we didn't use pectolo, uh, pectolase or pectic enzyme, uh, so it's not going to be clear. I don't mind. I don't really care. I was more interested in what does it taste like? Is it good? Because we can polish it once we're finished. It does smell like a cider. And uh, I have a spoon, so I'm going to give it a little taste because it would be rude not to, just to see if it's worth even bottling up. That's not bad, actually. That, that isn't bad, if I'm being honest. That's um, one of the better fresh brewed ciders I've had, even though it does taste apple-y. It's not over apple -y, it's not really dry, uh, and it's not really bitter, because sometimes super dry things are really bitter, which is good. So we can actually bottle this up, which is fantastic. So I'm going to be bottling up in a couple of two litre water containers, which I have sterilized because I do like bubbly water. You can buy the bottles sealed. Uh, I think you can get them really cheap at supermarkets for like 20p or something like that. So if you don't want to sterilize, you can just buy the bottles, empty them out and siphon directly in there. So I've got ahead, I have sterilized my side, my siphoning tube, which is just some of that PVC pipe because it's, it's cheap. Hydrometer, the bottle lids, everything I need, and I even have some sweetener because, uh, well, a little touch of sweetener is nice, and we're gonna prime this with a bit of sugar. So uh, I'm just gonna clean my spoon and uh, let's bottle this up. Oh, and rinse these out, and let's bottle this up. So I've gone ahead and I've rinsed out everything, including the tubing, which is now in fresh water. I've got the hydrometer, which we will be taking a measurement from, but I'm going to do it in the bottle before we mess around with it, because uh, in the bucket, it doesn't quite reach the bottom. So instead of messing around, I'll do it in the bucket. I'll, I'll do it in the bottle, because more space. The process is really straightforward. It does smell good. <laughs> it does smell like cider, so uh, I'm pretty happy. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to make the janky auto siphon. There we go. So we now have some fresh water in a tube. Three meters of tube, because I'm just cool like that. Only a little bit, and then put you in there and raise you and then drop it down. Da -da -da. Have to do a special thing because the tube is really long. Should have thought about that. But basically, as long as it's lower, it will do. And I raise it low. This will just take a minute. I don't think you really want to see a tube filling up a bottle. Right, so after siphoning, we have got basically four liters of jus out of a gallon. I mean, we could try and extract the last sort of half liter, liter that is in here. But at the same time, this is the second one that I did. And as you can tell, it's kind of yeasty. And while that is going to drop out and it won't really make any difference, uh, this one is the one that we were kind of looking for. And uh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. So this is the color without any pectolase, just the apples and the juice. I've put a hydrometer in there and um, it's finished right at one, which gives us around 5%. Uh, 
ABV. That's that's what we've got. We've got a 5% white cider that we made with five apples. So that is 1% for every apple. <laughs> and well, it doesn't look bad. I quite like hazy ciders. Even white ciders, you know, if you can find them, why not? So I've taken a little bit out of the yeasty side. Uh, it's also got a few bits that came up with the siphon, but again, experiment, we can polish it later. And I've got it in the glass here, so let's give it a little taste. Ah, more than just a spoonful. And I have to say, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> I mean, it's not a uh, quality high round cider, but it is a perfable, a perfable? A perfectly quaffable uh, cider. And since it finished right at 1 instead of 9.90, it's not bone dry. So that's always handy. We do not need to add any sweetener to it. I actually had some just in case. If you want a sweet cider, add one of these to your taste. You know, give a little sample glass, test it out. If you like it, do it at the big scale. If you don't like it, do something else. Everything's to your own personal taste, but I quite like it. Quite like it as is. The only thing I don't like is the little bits of apple. Put it in the bin or on the side. So <laughs> I'm just going to remove the hydrometer now. So give that a squeeze. So that's pretty good information. It's all it's all food for thought. And even this yeasty one over here doesn't really taste yeasty. It doesn't smell bad either. It's sort of. It smells like fresh apples, even though it's milder in flavor. So we're going to carbonate this. So I have got myself a bag of sugar. Now, I normally work on around one teaspoon per 500 ml, uh, which is a light carbonation for a beer. If you're worried about carbonation, I would suggest using plastic bottles until you get a handle on it. But basically, you can use a priming calculator for beer, and it pretty much works exactly the same. So beer calculator for priming and copy <laughs> and I have one of these so two of these go into here so roughly I've got my finger funnel and in it goes like so there's one and there is two in it goes if you want to use an actual funnel you can, but finger funnel works. Tighten that on, tighten it on, and do the same for our yeasty one over here, because it may be yeasty, but it will drop out and it doesn't want to feel left out when we're drinking it. So on goes the second one, there's one. And here is another one. And it goes, perfect. And because we're using turbo yeast, in theory, this should actually carbonate in a couple of days. Theory. Again, all these things we don't know. So uh, no degassing necessary. Just give it a little shake. And the same with this one, even if it is ugly as sin. Like so. So we're gonna come back for a tasting video, of course next week. So I want to hear your thoughts on it. Should we come back and do a proper version of this? See what we can do. Maybe add a couple of more apples to it. Get rid of the haze. You know, I want to hear your suggestions because, uh, well, like I said, you'd never really see anyone make a white cider, but it was so cheap. It was just so cheap. That's all I got to say on that, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, come back and join me for the tasting. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Because you can't taste it, but I can tell you it's, it's pretty good. So I will catch you in another video, guys. Take care.